Hello, welcome back to the HKBU Phonology Lab channel. In this episode, we introduce how to annotate sounds using Pratt scripts. Sometimes we may need to annotate a large number of sound files. To do this manually will be time consuming and tedious because we need to create a text grid for each sound file fold annotation and we have to save each text grid after the annotation. For such a task, we may need the help from Pratt scripts. There are many Pratt scripts that can help us create and save text grids. Today, we'll use one of them. You can access this Pratt script by clicking the link below this video. Now, I'll use these few sound files to illustrate. And for easy access, we can put the Pratt script in the same folder as the sound files. To use the Pratt script, we come back to Pratt Objects window. Click on Pratt, open Pratt script. Now we open this script, click on Run. In the pop-up window, it asks us which directory we want to work on. We can specify it as the folder where we have the sound files. In Windows, this can be done by copying the path to the folder from here. Back to the pop-up window, we paste the directory information here. Remember to include this final backslash. If you are a Mac user, you can click on the link below this video for how to obtain the directory information of a folder. In this pop-up window, we can also specify how many tiers we want. Suppose we just want one CV tier. Then we click on OK. The first sound file has appeared for us to annotate the consonant and vowel. We can click on this window, mark the boundary of the consonant and the vowel. We can keep the symbol for each interval. When we finish this item, we can click on Pratt Objects window. We'll see this pop-up window. Here, we click on Continue. Now, the previous one has been saved, and we can start annotating a new item. When this item is done, again, we come back to here, click on Continue to go to the next one. In this folder, we will see that Two text grids have been created for the two sound files we annotated. The Pratt script we are using has a very good feature. That is, even if we stop in the middle, we can pick it up next time without losing the work we have done. Suppose I only finish half of the work and I have to stop now. Next time, I can use the same Pratt script to continue my work. I go to Pratt, open Pratt script, open the same Pratt script, run it, specify the folder, and specify the tier name. Click on OK. For the first item, we can see that our previous annotation is well kept. The same is true for the second item. We can go to the next one to continue our work. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye.